Following on from our last lesson where we talked about looking for specific patterns within bumpy terrain, our next few sessions will focus on applying a few simple tactics to develop efficiency within our bump skiing technique. Having said that, from this point forward, it is important to choose terrain which is within the boundaries of your personal skill set. And for those of you who are new to bump skiing, this should consist of small, round moguls which are well spaced on a moderate pitch as this type of terrain will offer the largest variation of line choice and give you the best chance for fast progression. However, before we even venture into the smallest of bump runs, we first need to check off a couple of key technical requirements while skiing on groomed terrain. Firstly, we must develop versatility within our skiing through a range of different turn sizes. After all, moguls come in different sizes and it's important that we're able to adapt our turn size to fit well with the terrain before us. Secondly, we need to develop a consistency within our turn shape. That is to say, each and every turn, regardless of its size, should be full, round, and connected directly to the turn beneath it. It's safe to say that once you're able to adapt a variety of turn sizes while maintaining good shape, then you're ready to tackle the bumps. So here we are on a well-groomed, moderately steep pitch, and I'm gonna ski down here with a focus on creating good turn shape. One thing that can really help with this is if I begin my run by visualizing the fall line. That is the imaginary line which represents the path of least resistance straight down the mountain. And during this session, it will become the point against which I measure how round and complete I'm able to make each of my turns. Okay, start off by making some medium turns at moderate speed. As you start to establish your rhythm, begin to cast your focus on the fall line. Your goal now is to complete each turn to the point where you're able to cut across the hill at a 90 degree angle to the fall line itself. This is harder than it looks and will often require a strong and committed effort to turn your skis further and for much longer through the turn than you may be used to. The good news is, the more effort you place into the end of each turn, the less effort that is needed to begin the next. This concept will become a key factor in determining how quickly you're able to transition from turn to turn and the type of bumps you'll ultimately be able to ski. Okay, there you have it. Get out there on some groomed terrain and practice skiing with good turn shape. Because next time you see me, we'll be taking these concepts and applying them directly into the moguls. This has been Guy Hetherington for All Tracks Academy, coming to you with more online ski training. Have a great season out there.